welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new style of video. This time we're filming a sort of long ways video, a portrait video, but it's intended to be a video longer than 60 seconds. I want to see for my own entertainment if this does better or worse than A, our normal videos, or B, short. So I've seen some people doing content in this style. But anyway, I want to talk about what we're seeing this month. If you watched our last video yesterday, I spoke about the fact that I'm now fully banned on eBay. And this has got me thinking both about my personal journey on eBay and in my whole business and where I want things to go, but it's also got me thinking about what it truly takes to become successful. So I've been thinking, what do I need to do? And one thing that I will say is I've started already working on many new ideas. I have to say, if I don't do at least 10 new business ideas or try 10 new business ideas annually, I feel like I'm failing because I am fully aware of the fact that most businesses that you try will not succeed. It's a sad fact, but it's just part of life. And with that being the case, it's like, well, how do you succeed? The answer, in my opinion, is to do as many different ideas as possible. And you go into, how do you do that? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about in this video. I want to talk about some of my new plans for this month and why I think you guys should be trying your best into next month. So again, with it turning to August now, we're coming to the later part of the year. And at this time, it's the time to be asking yourself, how have your New Year's resolutions gone? Because looking all the way back to the beginning of the year, have you implemented them well? Have you actually done what you said you were going to do? For me, I have to say, yes, I have. The eBay shop was an amazing success, and I am still trying with new ventures such as Amazon and others. But what I now realize is I need to enter into new market spaces, because it's all well and good me doing amazingly selling watches and all that kind of stuff online, but we don't really want to have a resale business only. I want to have a few sources of revenue, and I want to make as much as possible. So obviously, with that being said, how do I do this? Well, I've started up a few new online businesses. Like I said before, I want to try YouTube automation. This is something that I'm looking to get into when I get back. And on top of that, another thing that I'm trying is starting a blog. So I've made a blog, which is obviously somewhat like a vlog like this, but I'm making articles talking about business and finance and all this sort of stuff. Now, in a lot of these articles, my videos will be linked, which will hopefully help drive traffic to my YouTube channel. But the long story short is simply put the fact that I'm trying to A, increase my reach for my brand and also B, build another channel of revenue. Because we all know that YouTube can be a very profitable business. As I've said before, I've had channels that have made quite a lot of money, over £10,000 in the past. So I know how this can go. But the question is, with blogging, it's not something that I've ever tried because, to be honest, I'm not the best writer out there. But the world's kind of changed now because from when I tried it like 5, 10 years ago, we have so much more to work with now. We've got AI and all this technology which can help you to write articles and that really is going to be a game changer for my business. So I'm looking to use AI to help write articles. I've already started up this blog, by the way. I've invested about £100 into the domain and the hosting and all that kind of stuff. And I've already published three or four articles. Now, the reason why it's not been more, because I started this about a week ago, is because, you know, I am kind of out here at the moment. But when I get back to my computer, because I didn't bring it for this trip, when I get back to my laptop at home, I am going to be um, uploading articles daily, multiple. But what I'm trying to say is, I've got a few new ideas planned, and that's only one of them. Also, I'm doing the full official launch of our watch shop. That's my own uh, shop hosted on Shopify. Yes, it has been launched now for some time. However, I've not like officially spent money on advertising or even tried to advertise it that hard. So going into the next few months, I am going to start pushing on to the advertising element of that more in the hopes of seeing some success on that shop. So that's just two of a few ideas. Again, when we get back into the proper studio, I'll talk about this a bit more. But whilst I'm still away, I want to use this opportunity as we have this lovely background to talk about what I'm doing and also to stay consistent with uploading because this is a point. Like this video has only been four minutes so I'm not actually going to edit this one at all. It's just going to be me talking to the camera like this is a video call. Um, and what I'm saying is there's never really an excuse to not do your work. Like if you've got a dream, you need to make it happen. And going back to the previous point about New Year's resolutions, most people set them, most people fail at them. But this is a thing. People forget to track their progress and their success. Like, you get to the end of the year or the start of the year and you start looking at your New Year's resolutions. When in actuality, what you should do is check every single month or arguably even every single week to see how you're doing. Are you still in check with those goals? And if not, why? And have those goals moved? So I set myself goals every single month and I want to make this video both so that you guys know where I'm going and also for some documentation for myself. So the plan for this month is then to get on with well, you know, growing the actual shop, the Shopify shop, 
see how the YouTube, see how the YouTube and uh, blog automation goes, see how that goes. That should be a good stream of income, hopefully, or at least a good business to start. And it is going to be fun and relatively easy. But I'll keep you guys updated. I know you guys liked our last video, and I will be publishing more as we go on. So hopefully this style of content, the vertical content, is okay. I'll see how we do on this one, and maybe I'll start filming in this aspect ratio more. I'm not too sure, though. But like everything in business, it was worth experimenting. We'll see how this does, and I'll make my minds up based on that. But if you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and like, and I hope to see you in our next video. Thank you, see you soon.